few um, gesture drawings, and these are really fast. We're almost done, um, I promise. And uh, for the gesture, you can use, I like to use charcoal, but uh, it's, it's up to you. You can use, I think I put um, marker or pen, or no, I'm sorry, uh, graphite pencil um, or a pen for the scribble one. So with the scribble gesture, um, I am going to go and use this black little fine point. Um, it's kind of like a Sharpie uh, pen. And I'm going to draw my hand. So for the scribble gesture, for all the contours and all the different types of gestures, you do have a handout that explains each one. So if you need a further explanation of those, you have a handout you can print or download and read more about it. And it tells you exactly what to do uh, for each one. But for a gesture, we're not going to think. And Another thing about gesture is it's kind of working more from the inside out. So it's not a contour, okay? And whenever we switch to these in my uh, classes when they're face-to-face, -face, I constantly have to tell students, stop doing a contour. Because they'll start doing a contour, but they're just scribbling while they're doing a contour. That's still a contour, okay? So uh, it's a total different process. Um, I usually will time like 30 to 60 seconds for most of these um, drawings. So it says do four scribble line gestures. So a scribble line gesture means that uh, you're going to, within a minute or less, you're going to try to capture the essence of the hand without doing a contour drawing by just scribbling, okay? So what I always like to do is I'll just think of like the shapes or the skeleton of the object that I'm drawing. So with my hand, I may really quickly draw out like the shapes. Do you see how I'm just scribbling? Then as I have more time, I'll come back in and start to Put in more details. So the way I think of these is if your eyes were like a computer and your hand was the printer and it's sending that message uh, to it without going through your brain, that's what's happening. So you're just scribbling not thinking about it. You can pick up your marker if you need to. You're gonna make mistakes. That's that's part of this process. And you just keep adding um, to it. And you've probably seen um, fashion designers and stuff sketch fashion that way. So you can see there's my hand up close. Maybe it looks a little better. You can see the thumb and how I was doing it. But it's going to be really scribbly and uh, loose. So you're going to do four of those. Um, you can use charcoal to do these. But I know at home, you know, I'm going to try to limit the amount of mess that you are going to make. So you may try using um, a pen or you can maybe use a graphite pencil. All right, so those are scribble line gestures. Then the next one we're going to do is what's called um, a mass gesture. And you can use your, I, I'm going to just use a charcoal pencil, I think, for actually. No, I'm not. I have. So whenever I work with charcoal, I usually will get like a stick of charcoal, the compressed charcoal out. Then I will have a charcoal pencil, my kneaded eraser. And I like to have a clicky eraser to erase like finer um, details. And then um, a piece of the willow um, charcoal. All right. And so that's kind of what I call my like charcoal um, kit is getting all these little things out to work with. And I'll show you this more when we get to um, get to value. So this is a scribble gesture. 
All right, now for the mass gesture, mass gesture means that we are focusing on really more of the silhouette of, of the object, and we're going to avoid drawing any lines, okay? And most students have never drawn this way before. Um, look up if you if you get a second, and I'll, I'll try to post some images. Um, let me write a note to myself to do that. Um, Seurat was a famous pointillist painter um, in the 1800s, and he invented a style of painting using tiny dots. But before he did any painting, he would um, do a value study with charcoal, and it would usually be a mass um, gesture study, value study. And uh, that's how he knew where to put what dots of paint, uh, was by doing that drawing and having it the same size as his canvas and next to it, knowing where to put what colors to, to blend. And so um, I'm gonna share some of his mass gesture drawings. I'll post them on the Padlet so you, can, um, so you can see them. But whenever we're doing mass gesture, we want to just use the side of our charcoal. And I usually start off with the willow charcoal because it's not very dark. And um, you're gonna, if you have nails, I'm sorry, you can't always have pretty hands and be an artist. Um, but you're going to hold it. I broke off a piece of the charcoal, so I'm going to hold it like this from the side. And what we want to do is no lines, okay, no lines at all. I had a professor in school that would walk around with a metal ruler, and when we were doing these exercises, she would um, hit, hit your easel with the metal ruler and be like, I said no lines. I'm not going to be there to do that, but just pretend that I am, okay? So we're not going to draw any lines. You're going to use the side of the charcoal and just lightly, and this is all within like a minute or two, we're gonna lightly kind of silhouette the shape of the hand, okay? So you can see I've put some of this charcoal down. And again, remember to look at your hand or whatever object it is that you're drawing. Then wherever it's darker um, or we see objects touching each other. Now I'm gonna switch over to the compressed charcoal because it's a little darker. Um, now I'm gonna take the side of it and wherever I see areas touching each other, I'm gonna come in and kind of define that a little bit with the side of the charcoal. So these kind of have like more of like a kind of ghost like look, but you really don't want to see any lines and really set a timer for 60 seconds to two minutes and um, don't spend too much time on these. They're meant to be really rough and, and kind of loose like this. Now, since this is charcoal, it's going to be messy. It's going to smudge. So after you do it, I'm going to use... I have hairspray, so the hairspray is safe to use indoors. Um, but if you have the fixative, you do need to use that outdoors. So I'm just going to spray a little hairspray on this, just so that it doesn't, you know, get all over my um, my the rest of my sketchbook. So, and if you find that it's still smudging after a couple of coats, then you may do some more on it. But it's always going to, unless you use the final fixative, it's always going to smudge. Um, so, so, so this would be an example of the mass gesture. And you'll see more examples on the handout and in the videos that, that I um, posted. Okay, So you're going to be using the side of that, and I'll post some more examples of us um, as, as well. Oops. And then um, the mass and line gesture, this one's kind of fun because you were going to combine the two together, but I'm going to use all charcoal um, this time. So I'm going to draw my hand again, but I'm going to draw it a little bit larger. So I'm going to do a master first. And if you notice, like I've been working on both the front and back of my paper for the, the, the um, 
sketchbook sizes, that's fine as long as it's not um, bleeding through. But as we get to the nicer drawings uh, within the drawing pads, we're actually going to tear those papers out and sometimes even tape the edges just so that they're nice and clean. So I like to start when I do mass and line gesture together. Uh, there's different theories about which one you should do first. I personally like to do the mass part first because this allows me to kind of silhouette the shape and so that gives me a general area to draw in where if um, I'm just, it helps my proportions when I have kind of like an area that I should draw in. Then I'll come in maybe with a charcoal pencil or maybe the compressed charcoal if you just have that and then I'll do the scribble line um, on on top of that. So it kind of gives you an area to draw in and you know where everything goes. And really break down your hand into segments, like where you see that um, your fingers are broken down into these little digits, like break that down even more. Um, and that's gonna help your drawing look more uh, natural. So again, we're going to draw at a feverish pace, like really quickly. Don't stop and think. I don't want to see you sketching, uh, going back to your old ways. And, and that happens quite often. I'll have students go, oh, I'd like to take my time. Well, you don't always, you know, have like, um, you, you don't have to take a lot of time. Um, sometimes you're just not using your time wisely. So these exercises are going to help you use your time more wisely so you can get more work done. So you can see in literally like a minute, I have a pretty good drawing of a hand. I see my line gesture and the mass gesture underneath it. So um, again, that's the mass and line. And you can choose whatever objects that you would like to do um, for those. And then I'm going to just hit that with some hairspray. I prefer, um, there's a hairspray called Aquanet that's really inexpensive and it's unscented. This I just found in a cabinet. I don't know. It does kind of smell like perfume. Hopefully it works. But um, you can get whichever one um, that you want, the workable fixative or that. And then the last exercise we're going to do, uh, this is a sustained gesture. And like I said, you want to do all these in order because they all kind of lead into each other. So a sustained sustain gesture, you're going to do two of those, and it, it, it just means that you're going to take more time, okay? And uh, you're going to start working at a really quick pace, and then you're going to take that, and you're going to rework it and push it further, okay? So I think in like a courtroom, when they say sustained, it means like keep going. So whenever you're a gesture drawing, whatever time limit you have, you are going to uh, work that whole time. Like never stop unless it looks so real, you don't know which is your hand and which is your drawing, okay? So you can always be pushing it to look um, better and better, okay? So um, I put on these uh, 10 minutes. Um, I think that's that would be plenty of time and you're gonna be surprised, like you're gonna have a really good uh, drawing within uh, 10 minutes and I think you'll be impressed with what you can do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just draw my hand again because hopefully it's something that you um, always have um, with you. But you can draw other objects. Um, pine cones are really fun to draw with gesture because there's so much going on. So you can pick other objects, or you know if you want to practice drawing one object multiple times, I'm gonna leave that up to you um, to you all. So I'm gonna do a quick mass gesture of my hand. So this is the sustained gesture. So I just did a quick mass gesture, and we're going to kind of rub that charcoal into the paper so it kind of tones it a little bit in that area. And sometimes you may find that your mass gesture may not be accurate at, at all, and that's okay. We'll, we'll perfect it as we, um, as we go along. That's one of the things is drawings are really forgiving, especially in charcoal. So now I'm going to do the quick scribble. Line gesture.
right, so now you can see literally in less than a minute, I have like the main drawing done. So now with the remaining, you know, 10 minutes or, or nine minutes or eight minutes, however much time I have left, now I can continue to make this look more real. So that's why for the longer sustained drawings, they're gonna basically kind of become an intuitive um, value study in a way, because now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my needed eraser and like maybe where I see highlights, I can erase maybe some of that charcoal where it's gotten too dark. If that's within, like, let's say the fingernails, like I see the nail bed and then the edge of the fingernails, it's, there's kind of a little bit, but try not to simplify it and do the same thing to, you know, each finger, cause that's going to make it look like a cartoon. So you want to, you know, literally draw what you see. So don't make anything up or try not to um, simplify it. I'm going to grab a different charcoal pencil because that one is. Cool. All right, so then I'm going to just keep pushing this further. And I can also take my erasers and I can clean up like the outer edges. And if you have the uh, tortillions or these blenders, you can use those to come in and blend um, some of the line work out if there's not necessarily a, a line there. But keep looking at your hands because that's one of the most important things. But what I want you to do mainly with this exercise is I wanted you to see that it, it really, you can make a really nice drawing in just a short amount of time if you work really fast and you don't overthink it and doubt yourself. So I'm just gonna stop there because I don't want you guys to have to watch me do the whole thing. But you can see just after a couple of minutes, this is starting to look much more like a value study and less like a gesture. But it started out just like all of these other ones that we were doing, okay? So um, basically as we go along through the scribble, the mass, the mass in line, and then the sustain gesture, they, could, they should slowly be getting better to the point that if you spend 10 or 15 minutes on this, you know, people may not even know that it started out as just a bunch of scribbles. So I want to learn to work through the mistakes and improve uh, rather than tearing it out and throwing it out away and thinking that every mark we have to make is perfect. OK, forget about that. That's not the way we're going to work. Uh, we're going to work through our mistakes. We're going to edit our drawings. I see a lot of things, you know, that I can continue to do with this um, erasing things. I got too dark in certain areas. So you're just going to be looking back and forth, set a timer until that timer goes off, and then that's that's your drawing. Okay. So hopefully that.